Michael, what should I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Behave yourselves! Hello, YouTubers out there. This is Jerry Sadovia the Movie. So today we're talking about a movie called Totally Killer, which came out on Amazon Prime last year. Uh, I think just after Halloween or around that time. And this is one of those movies that um, it didn't even occur to me this was a thing. It's a subgenre of horror that uh, YouTuber Cody Leach talked about. And by the way, I'm going to provide a link to Cody Leach, who reviews mostly horror pictures on his channel so uh i'll do that but uh, he mentioned that this was like a subgenre of uh, like a horror mashup of in this case horror and time travel or fantasy time travel so in this case it's uh, back to the future but with a slasher twist um and it didn't uh, you know i wrote this review uh, almost a few days ago and i had forgotten that this type of thing sort of happened before, but not exactly. Um, back in 1979, there was a movie called Time After Time with Malcolm McDowell. And he played H.G. Wells, who travels in the time machine uh, to capture uh, Jack the Ripper, who went to, to the future, to 1970s. And uh, it's not really a slasher movie, of course, but it has... Uh, the tendency, even though you don't really see the killer doing a whole lot, you see more the uh, the. Cr uh, I think there's one crime itself that you see pretty bloody for a PG rated movie at that time, but uh, not no stabbing or anything like that. Now this movie is a little bit different, of course. Uh, this is about a Sweet Sixteen killer, and the film starts in 2023. <laughs> And uh, there's a very protective mother of a young teenager. I mean, what else is new? Of course, this is uh, quite common. Mothers can be overprotective nowadays. And she's played by Julie, Bo uh, Julie Bowen, who you might know from Modern Family. Back in the day, I guess, Happy Gilmore and a few other things. She's there to protect her uh, daughter. Her daughter is a high school teenage girl who has problems of her own and doesn't really want to talk to her parents or get near people or just, you know, she's pretty much closeted to some degree. And uh, that's Jamie Hughes, played by Kiernan Shipka, who's very good in the movie. Uh, so is Julie Bowen. And uh, anyway, the mother on Halloween night is attacked and killed by the supposed Sweet Sixteen killer. So Jamie has to deal with this aftermath and can't hold back her tears. Her father tries her, his best to soothe the loss. Jamie goes to this uh, to an amusement park. And in this amusement park, there's supposed to be a science fair. And the park itself looks a little unkempt, you know, not very well maintained. But nonetheless, her genius friend, Amelia, played by Kelsey Mawima, or Ma Mawima, probably. Uh, anyway, she has a photo booth, and the photo booth turns out to be a time machine. And it's set up already to, I think it was October 22nd, 1987, pretty close to <laughs> Back to the Future, which was October 21st, I think, 1955, or for, I can't even remember now. I've seen that movie so many times. But anyway, uh, the, the killer comes after Jamie. Jamie happens to get into the phone booth, and inadvertently goes back in time to 1987. And now she has the ability to maybe stop the sweet, sweet 16 killer who was around at that time who killed three teenage girls. So her hope is to stop the murder of these three teenage girls. And of course she runs into her own mother. This is the Back to the Future stuff right here. Uh, a different type of high school. The kids... Um, are much more scatological with their humor and a lot of sex jokes and this and that and the other and BJ's, you know what I'm talking about, that type of thing. So uh, she doesn't even understand that it's like a fish out of water story in a way. 
she's in the 1980s and is far removed, obviously, from 2023. Uh, hardly woke, <laughs> you know, and that type of thing. He has, like, this sort of wagging finger of shame at, at all these, uh, at the girls and everything else, but tries to be protective of her future mother. And I believe uh, Pam is the name of the, uh, the mother. And in the... Uh, in 1987, she's played by an actress named Olivia Holt, who looks a lot like Julie, or could become Julie Bowen. It's really good casting. But she finds there are a lot of things in the 1980s that are just not set yet. Uh, people have seen Back to the Future, but, you know, they, she, she tries to make reference to that, but they don't quite get it. And uh, the kids are much rougher especially when they play dodgeball and she gets a bloody nose during gym because she decides she's, she sets herself up as somebody that came from Prince Edward Island in Canada and uh, frequents the, uh, decides to attend the uh, high school. And the 1980s is a different type of decade. It's hard living and DNA still hasn't been invented. Although I checked, it turns out DNA was invented later in 1987. Uh, but anyway, so they can't really finger the killer, not through evidence. I have to say, I, I really I really found the film quite enjoyable uh, for what could have been really a very hardcore slasher picture. Turns out it's much more uh, upbeat than I expected. And I like this girl, uh, Kiernan Shipka. Uh, she did a really good job. Um, a couple of reviewers I, I read about or watched their videos said that she was whiny always pushing, you know, to teach these kids a lesson about proper manners, you know, in 2023 versus the 1980s. I didn't think she was. Um, I like the mask of the Sweet 16 Killer. It kind of looks like a Max uh, Headroom type mask. Uh, you know, it has the, uh, the grin and an arched eyebrow with an earring. Uh, very apropos for the 1980s. I don't know if this film will really take off or inspire... Uh, sequels probably it, it may or may not i don't know if that's going to happen um i don't think it's going to carry the same charge as the scream movies but it's just as good as the scream movies i think it's very enjoyable very well done it's sort of a what i would describe as a very tasty confection of a movie it's full of uh, refreshing surprises both comedic and horrific so that's really well done the killer is also an expert in karate and is truly a malevolent villain and without giving too much away, let's just uh, say that who you guess the killer is, I didn't quite guess it. It's a sort of a whodunit. But I didn't really guess mm, uh, other complications that arise with the, you know, identifying the talking killer, or rather the, uh, the killer himself. And um, the killer doesn't talk much. <laughs> he just stabs and like I said, pretty good in karate, can defend himself pretty well, and moves very quickly. But what I like a lot is uh, Kiernan and Shipka. She goes from a, uh, a dour teenager to a very engaging young woman who has sort of found herself in this dreary 80s decade. And uh, she may not appreciate the lewdness of the teenagers, but she manages to help them find their humanity. And that was a hark back to Back to the Future, which did very well as well. Uh, Marty McFly in that movie was able to connect to his parents, find a little bit of his own humanity, uh, even though it's a different type of person than uh, Jamie Hughes in this picture, and makes his parents better people. Uh, and that that is really, that's a wonderful thing to see, particularly in this movie, which certainly owes a lot. It's, it's basically an homage to Back to the Future. I mean, no question about it. This is like Back to the Future, almost <laughs> the same kind of story, but very different. I mean, there's no Doc Brown and all that stuff. But there is this photo booth, and I thought that was an um, interesting way of going back in time. Uh, so I like that a lot. You know, it's a goofy picture. It's, uh, but there are some moments that are quite uh, tension-filled, and you really care about the teenagers, which is, I think, uh, essential for a movie like this. And I love Julie Bowen. Uh, she was terrific. And I also love how she actually manages to change the past that affects the future. So her future has changed. And seeing those details were really quite good. Uh, very surprising, I think. So it's, 
a less gory, slightly elevated, and highly entertaining slasher picture, but not completely slasher. Um, think of it as time travel slashery goofiness, I guess is the best way to put it. It is a subgenre, and uh, I just really enjoyed it. It almost made me want to go back to the 1980s, but not really, because I was a teenager back then. And uh, I think my next video, I'm going to discuss the 1980s a little bit, my perception of that decade and uh, whether or not I would want to be in the time machine and go back to that time. It's interesting how the movies of the 1980s that dealt with time travel to some extent, it was always about going back to that decade, 1950s. Even movies that weren't about time travel necessarily, but dealt with being transported back to some way, in some way, like Peggy Sue got married, or uh, there's another one called uh, Book of Love, which is not very well known with Michael McKean. Um, those type of pictures had the 50s to sort of, you know, going 30 years back. Here, we have movies that are paying homage to those kind of movies, but it's about going back to the 1980s. And, uh, yeah. I would, I, yeah, I'll let you know in the next video whether or not I would want to revisit that decade if I had a time machine. So anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me yours. Tell me what you think about uh, Totally Killer, if you've seen it. And uh, it is uh, viewable on Amazon if you have Amazon Prime. Uh, definitely worth checking out. It's just a lot of fun and uh, very engaging, very funny. Some horrific moments and uh, just extremely well done. But definitely owes a lot to Back to the Future but in a very good-natured way. I, I really respect what they did. So uh, I don't know if that would be make an interesting double feature, that this movie and Back to the Future. But at any rate, those are my thoughts. Let me yours. Thank you for uh, the new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. And if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, I have tons of movie reviews. I also occasionally, not very often, do fan-made trailers. And... Uh, discuss uh, movie topics or not necessarily always reviews um, and what's going on out there in the cinema world whether uh, you know certain subjects and if you are a subscriber please hit the notification bell for future uploads that's all I gotta say about totally killer check it out like totally check it out and this is Jerry Senevi at the movies signing off